Fidelity Active Trader Pro. That's the platform I'm on. The stock is NVDA. Follow along. We're looking at indicators. Indicators tell you when to buy and when to exit. Hedge fund managers have senators, congresswomen. This is our edge. First thing I do is set resistance and support lines. The blue horizontal line here is support. Green line on top is resistance. And they tell you what it sounds like they're telling you. The price most likely isn't going below support. You can see here, look at the lows running along. And if it does go below, it shouldn't last long. You can see the price right now is hovering, treading water right at resistance. It has a hard time breaking through. Buy at support, sell at resistance, support resistance, floor ceiling. Next indicator that I set is EMA. I've got two EMA indicators here, one set at 20 days, one set at 50 days. So I'm looking for when the 20 day EMA line crosses the 50 day. If it crosses going down, the price action is going down. If it, cr if it crosses going up, as you see here, that's indicating a strong bull trend moving up. And you're watching for that to, if it starts going down, then you need to think about making a move. Uh, but if it continues up and that gap widens between lines, it's gravy. I also like to set average volume. The blue line here represents the average volume for this stock. And anything above it is above the average volume. So if the price is going down or up, and that day the volume is twice as much as usual, there's a lot of weight behind that and you can expect that to continue. Under that is MACD, the green, sorry, the red line is the MACD line. The signal line is the green dashed line. Same game, when the MACD line crosses down or above that signal line, that's your signal, whether the price is moving up or down. And the blue bars here, you see how big this belly is? That uh, indicates how strong that dip or that rise is going to be. This was uh, right at our crash in February, and you could see it represented here. Next up is ADX. When the green plus line crosses the red minus line, that's your ding, 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 ding. If it crosses the minus line going up, price is going up. If it crosses going down, price is going down. And every trader has these alerts of, hey, this stock just, uh, the ADX line just crossed the minus line. And that's their buy signal. So they're gonna jump on board. And that's what uh, continues the push in whatever way these lines are going. Everybody is looking for patterns. Everybody is uh, looking for these signals to buy. And you don't wanna be the last one jumping on. And so if you, uh, I also use pivot points. You can look here, pivot point high, low, high, low. It goes throughout the period. And let's go back to uh, 10 days. This is the, the 10 day chart for this stock. And look just how perfect this rectangle is. You could trace the bottom pivot lines here and the top pivot lines there. And it just creates a perfect hallway. And you know the price is going to continue up as long as it stays in this hallway, like a pinball. Bing, 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 bing. Except here, it broke out. This is a, a bearish signal here. It broke out of the hallway and the price fell. And the price is gonna 
going to continue to fall or go sideways until it gets back in harmony with that hallway. So, uh, and that's, that's what it's done over the past couple days. Same thing on the reverse. If you had a hallway going down, down to the right, crossing those pivot lines and the price action breaks above the top line in the rectangle, that's your buy signal. That means the price is going up, buy, and you're gonna have a strong bullish trend once it breaks out of there. Even if your indicator crosses your magic line, it can turn around and go the opposite, opposite way immediately. So this isn't a crystal ball. You're not looking for one of these things to give you the green light. You need four to seven green lights before you make a smart bet. Everything repeats, everyone bets on patterns. Use that predictability. News is incredibly important too. Everybody's looking at news, especially now where uh, things can change day to day. So you go to news and research and you can type in a specific stock and it will give you every article that comes out on that stock insider trading, currency news, earnings release. Analyst ratings are important too. They put price targets for the year on certain stocks, upgrade it, downgrade it, use their hard work, use their math. Everybody else is looking at that as well. Headline news, uh, extending, extended trading news. Uh, so really good, really valuable information in here. And the game changer for me on top of these indicators was Market Club. Market Club is, was made by stockbrokers 2002, I think. Uh, they give access to, your, uh, to their algorithm and they give you a buy and uh, sell signals, strong daily, weekly, or monthly trend. And that was the game changer for me retail investor to player and it takes all the guesswork all of the hunting and researching out uh, so that's a pay for service though i can get in that in the next video and there's a big difference between stocks and options i only trade options now a good stock will move forward to 20 percent options will move 60 to 100 percent 90% of option traders lose money. Very few know how to do it correctly, but that's why the reward is so great and I'm balls deep in options right now. It's so much more fun than stocks. I can do a video on that as well after looking at the views on this and look me up, Mr. In Between, go all.